Today it is a saucy Red Dead Redemption 2 stream. What does that mean? It means that this morning I got up, ran to my kitchen, and started making a homemade pot of Italian sauce. It is my family recipe, and it takes all day to make. It takes roughly about an hour to an hour and a half to get ready with all the preparation, including, you know, hand chopping the vegetables. making meatballs from scratch, frying up a, a fatty base to make the meatballs in. Oh yeah! And then taking San Marzano peeled tomatoes and hand grinding them in a food mill. And basically getting it all seasoned and ready and getting the meatballs in there cooking and getting it, uh, you know, sizzling and, and simmering and absolutely freaking delicious. It is the most sexual meatball sub I've ever had. Really? <clears throat> yes. You may, guys might not realize this, I'm about a quarter Italian. My mom is 50-50, half Polish, half Italian, and so her Italian heritage really comes through when I make this homemade Italian sauce, okay? Um, so, it is simmering right now. But what this means is that every 20 to 30 minutes today, I'm going to have to take a small break to run downstairs and either stir or season the sauce, okay? 25 shakes. Mmm, I like oregano. Garlic salt. I believe it's two shakes, yes. Now we have both garlic and the onion salt, mm -hmm. so. I'm actually gonna do four shakes. In fact, right after this pre-stream ends, in about 20, you know, 25 minutes, I'm assuming it'll be, um, I need to run downstairs to stir and season the sauce, okay? Um, the stream itself today will last as long as usual. <laughs> Typically I play till around 4 p.m. It's gonna be the same today. We're gonna be going till around 4 p.m. Um, I may not even take a major break since I'll be taking so many short breaks for the sauce. I probably will not take a major break at all today. It'll just be me going down the stir and season, stir and season, okay? You got all kinds of pieces of the tomato and stuff in there. Mmm, I love tomatoes. And keep in mind, as this simmers, it'll actually cook. Mm -hmm. All those little pieces of tomato that are in there. And it'll reduce the liquidy aspect somewhat. Alright. <clears throat> so, um, that's the deal. And so, if you're watching on stream, you know, like I said, every 20 to 30 minutes, there'll be like a 2-3 minute break. If you're, if you're watching the, the playthrough on YouTube today, the videos are going to be weird. Because as you guys know, on YouTube, I've been making hour-long parts. And I'm going to keep doing that. What I'm going to say is, oops, sorry guys, I'm going on a brief break to go stir the sauce or whatever. Um, okay, so that's the rough schedule, everybody. Hope that I covered enough to, uh, to, to make sense. Um, outside of all that, I don't have a heck of a lot else to say right now. I, you know, I definitely want to, uh, you know, like I said, get as much Red Dead as I can. I do apologize that today is a day when I, I have to make my, my, my batch of sauce. It was the only day available, uh, that Cat would actually be home where we'd be able to kind of do it together. Um, cause I, as much as I could make the sauce by myself, it's better to do it, you know, with cat cause we make it our own. It's better to do it, you know, with cat cause we make it our own. <laughs> that was an amazing joke. There we go. Yeah. That's just under three quarters of a cup. That's what I'm going to put in there. Mm -hmm. And I got sugar all over the countertop. Well, I'll take care of that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we season it, we tweak it. Today, we actually tweaked it a little bit differently. Uh, so what I usually do is I put pieces of white onion in the meatballs. Today, we said, let's not do that because sometimes the meatballs break up because they have the onion in it. So instead of putting the, the onion in the meatball, let's just put all the onion in the sauce and see if the sauce will actually taste a little bit more savory because of this onion flavor and see if the meatballs hold together a little better. So we're trying. So every time we do it, <clears throat> we try something different. <clears throat> So we'll see today how it comes out, okay? 
Um, I don't have, I don't think I have any announcements or anything. As you guys know, this month we are trying to push for the sub goal of 525 subs. And every day I swear, we go way up and then it, it plummets overnight. Eh, maybe a little bit. And now it went. So yesterday we were up to o over 510 subscribers. And I got a ton of subscribers during the day. Don't get me wrong. Like if I remember correctly, I think I had at least 20 to 25 subs during the day. And then today we're down to 490, what is it? 498? And this keeps happening because, as you know, when subs expire, you know, it goes down. So, I see a lot of you in the stream chat who are not subbed. If you guys subscribe this month and we hit 525 subscriptions, I'm going to be doing a holiday marathon. Where I'm going to be dressed up, I'm going to be festive, drinking, probably beer, eggnog, among other things. And welcome to Dark Side Phil's 2009 Christmas Special. Now, to be completely honest with you, I had something a little bit different in mind, involving not any less than the entire chorus line of the New York City Rockettes, a thrilling rendition of A Christmas Carol by Patrick Stewart, and no less than five musical numbers with musical accompaniment by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Unfortunately, about two weeks ago, I got sick. <coughs> Grab your... Expired popcorn balls from last year that you bought for a penny at the discount store, and let's start DSP's Christmas special for 2009. Mm. And playing a marathon of games, pretty much right before Christmas. So, I did this last year, it was very, very popular, people loved the idea, and wanted to see me do it again this year. But we gotta hit the sub goal of 525 subs, which is very attainable. Um, now we've got someone being a negative Nancy in the stream chat. The Nivk says, Why would I support someone who doesn't read my messages? I'm doing the pre-stream. During the pre-stream, I have a lot of information to cover. I'm not reacting to things people saying stuff in stream chat yet. I regularly react to people saying stuff in stream chat who do not contribute in any way. So, you should just relax. And cool your jets. Okay? Stop being a jerk. Okay, so the Nivk is still complaining about not getting interaction, even though I just interacted with him in the stream. So now he can sit outside of the stream for 10 minutes since he's whining and complaining constantly. You can wait now and you can get some nice interaction when you come back after your 10 minute timeout sitting in the corner. So you're just gonna sit here and complain. Goodbye. Okay, there's your interaction. Are you happy now? <laughs> oh my God. My stream chat has crapped out of it. I can't even move. <laughs> For those who don't know, my laptop is very old. Okay, my laptop is from uh, a long time ago. It's it's twenty. I want to say twenty twelve. I believe I bought it. Maybe it was twenty thirteen, but I think it was twenty twelve when I bought it. Um, and I pretty much use it every single day, all day. It runs here for me to to you know watch the stream chat and the like. So it's pretty much shot at this point. Um, however, I have no money for a new laptop. So I have to bear with it. So every once in a while I have problems and I apologize if I have to... Basically, I'm wrestling my laptop to try to get it to work again so I can see what you guys are saying. Okay. All right. Shout out to the lollipop who cheered. He says, I bet that sauce tastes amazing. Did Kat taste it? She probably thinks it's amazing. Oh, dude, of course. We have homemade meatball subs, which Leanna is about to dig into. It is the most sexual meatball sub I've ever had. Really? Mostly sexual. because I've never had one before, but... We eat it together. No, no. I make this big pot of Italian sauce, but it's only for me. I forbid that, that my girlfriend eat it. What are you talking about? No, it's amazing. What we're going to do is simmers for four and a half hours. And then later today, um, for dinner, we're going to have fresh meatball parm grinders. It's going to be meatballs, freshly made meatballs on this big crusty uh, grinder roll with, you know, the fresh sauce and melted mozzarella and maybe a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. It's amazing, okay? It's like the freshest you... As I was saying to Kat today, I said, this is the freshest you could get this. Even if you go to an a, a authentic Italian restaurant, okay, they don't freaking make... Uh, they don't make it right there on demand for you. You know what I mean? Like, they make those in batches. They'll make the sauce and the meatballs in batches, and then they warm it up for you for dinner. You're not going to get a fresh meatball sub like this, except right here when we make it. It literally finishes cooking, and then, boop, here we go. So, pretty damned awesome. I can't wait to have those later tonight for dinner. DJ Luna Eclipse has resub for the 13th month in a row. 
and says, Phil, I wish to share my favorite joke with you in the chat. How does the man in the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Har, har, har. Knee slapping joke. La 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 la